Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you about the isotope of phosphorus. Or should I say actually, isotopes of phosphorus. Because there isn't one, there are actually three. Now the question is, what is an isotope? First of all, within the nucleus of an atom, let's say that's the nucleus, we draw it as a billiard ball but it isn't really like that, within that there are 15 protons. If it's phosphorus, there are 15 protons. But within that nucleus, there are also neutrons. And in the stable isotope, this is stable, it's called phosphorus 31, there are actually 16 neutrons. Around this, there will be automatically something like 15 electrons in a neutral atom. The difference between the different isotopes are that instead of there being 16, there can also be 17 or 18 neutrons in the nucleus, which mean that we have three types of phosphorus, phosphorus 31, phosphorus 32 and phosphorus 33. Phosphorus 32 and 33 are not stable. They are radioactive. They, the nucleus will literally split and spit out uh, a particle and change into a different chemical substance. So these are not stable. And this typically has a half-life of 14 days. That is in 14 days. In two weeks, half of it will have turned into something else. And after another two weeks, another half, and so on. Phosphorus 33, well... Slightly longer half-life, 24 days, but still quite short. So these aren't stable. There is one stable isotope of phosphorus, and that is phosphorus 31.